Hi everybody, welcome back and welcome if you're new. Today I'm going to be reacting to something a little bit different. Um, his name is Leon Lush and this video is called If You Laugh You're Evil. Uh, so kind of like a try not to laugh kind of video. Um, and he has like a bunch of TikToks and stuff that are funny or maybe not very funny. But So yeah, let's just get right into it. So if you guys haven't seen this before, uh, he's kind of like reacting to it too, so... Show you... Show you then what you drive. I think they meant to say show them what you drive. <laughs> Bobos, I'm tipping. Yeah. Nope. Nope, not even funny in the least bit. If you laugh, you lose your weak ass imbecile. You can't laugh at someone wheelchair bound. So pretend not to laugh and you'll have a great excuse to make the lowest effort content around. Hello everyone, pleasure to have you here. Might I say, you are looking especially attractive today. So I had my assistant curate some of the finest TikToks around and the goal here, you all know it is to try not to laugh. And if I do, very serious consequences. Every time I laugh, your penis grows an inch. Or for the ladies, your hip to waist ratio increases by one X. <laughs> awesome question. Curious, what Thanks state are you asking. in? I live in a constant state of anxiety. Um, my fight or flight what has not heck? deactivated in probably like three years. Awesome question. Thanks for asking. What? Uh, how do you? What the heck is that? Pause this! What? Uh, <clears throat> what is going on here? The front naked choke? Is she getting habitually attacked by ostriches? Uh, listen, uh, this isn't funny to me at all, but look at the look at the way she handles this first one. Like, she's about to get all out pecked up by an emu, and she just continues responding to the TikTok, no problem. Thanks for What's asking. That? I live in a constant <laughs> state of anxiety. Um, my fight or flight has not deactivated in probably, like, three years. This is like the perfect TikTok. We're starting off with a bang here. She's just talking to the phone and like getting attacked by giant birds. This one kind of caught me off guard. Definitely didn't laugh though. <clears throat> as long as Christian edits it out. <laughs> here we go. A couple cans. Whoa! Is that, a, is that like a sinkhole? Just oh, no. trying to enjoy a frat party mid-afternoon on college campus and you go waist deep into a one foot diameter sinkhole. That is nasty shit. That is awesome. That someone definitely, happen? dude, someone definitely set that up. Like there was no chance someone like, they picked a little bit of grass. Yeah, because they were filming it before she stepped Some in Some kind of like laid it over the top, like an old school, like an old school trap. You guys remember the Bam Margera video? Back from the the early jackass days when they literally, they they dug a huge hole in Bam's backyard and then covered it with like sticks and leaves. And then his dad, Phil, was using the rider mower and he rode over it and drove the road. There's gotta be a clip of that somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyways, I thought that shit was like the dying. funniest thing of all time when I was like 18 and this clip reminded me of that for some reason. <laughs> Uh, Why was you just nice? Oh my god! Whoa, did that just go on two wheels? Dude, there's what no chance my man didn't the... do some aftermarket mods to this yeah. uh, toy hippie van right here. That thing just got onto two wheels. What are you talking about? <laughs> Dude. This is true Jesus. living. This is how we need to raise our kids. I'm <laughs> sick and tired of these regulations. I don't know where this is, but that is not, that was not bought at a toy factory. <laughs> you buy that shit in the store. Like I ordered one for my son, who's almost four, and like they have a fast mode and it still is a snooze fest. I mean, he pins it and it's like, <laughs> eh. You want your little mini, your mini stoner van for your three-year-old daughter to go minimum 40 to 50 miles per hour. <laughs> <laughs> Two wheels, no problem. Just have her pump the gas and do, she can endo that if she wants to. Better yet, take this girl in her F1 caliber uh, VW van and put her in the emu pit <laughs> that that other girl was in. That'd be, that'd be a clip for the ages. Oh, look, 
a dandelion must be the last one of the season. <laughs> she actually ate it. Nice. Show your face if someone touches your man. Oh my god, I love these. I love this genre of TikTok. Listen. Listen, listen. This, this is a bad bitch right here, okay? You ain't, you don't, I would not touch her, man. She will. The lip boom. I was on the fence, honestly, about what touching the her, man. And then when the beat dropped in the snarl, I'm no longer touching her, man. No chance. Oh whoa, whoa. What? I pray you. Is that magic fucking contraption? Now, unsurprisingly, the comments to this particular TikTok took a turn for the raunchy a little bit with some innuendos, which, you know me, I don't like to talk about any sexual jokes, not on YouTube, against the rules. This person, very astute, though, said, dirty-minded people will know what that looks like. <laughs> I see. I'm dirty-minded, too, so... Yeah, is that like what an erect penis? What happens when a penis gets erect? Is that what you're referring to? Wow, that's gross. Tier threes when Pokimane shows feet on stream. Me when Ryan Reynolds is shirtless. <laughs> when it's my turn to present in class and I'm wearing sweatpants. <laughs> All right, I'll stop. You get the picture though. It's like it's funny because it's it's like a, a very large erect penis. I love this. This is great. It's not funny though. That's why we're not laughing at it. Die bitch! Ugh. Die bitch! <laughs> oh my god! That thing is huge. <gasps> You guys know I don't do good. I don't, I don't do good with spiders. He's spraying it with like air freshener. Bro, that thing. Look, whoa! Look at the still frame. What is that? This has to be in Australia or Florida. This is why I refuse to leave New England, right? You won't ever find something that big in New England, bro. Okay? This is why I stay in the four season states. Okay? <laughs> Shit like this can't survive cold winters. Right? We get the little bastards, you know, the, spy the house spiders you can deal with. If I saw one of these motherfuckers in my house, I would get a blowtorch and burn that shit right to the ground and collect the insurance. Hopefully, I wouldn't get caught. <laughs> I mean, he is pounding that thing with raid, and it's like fucking it's Thanos. Like, right. It's got a shield up, just storming after him, screaming down the fucking kitchen floor. <laughs> that thing needs to burn. Uh. Oh. oh. <laughs> What in the name? The way that the uh, the person holding the camera, which I have to assume is a parent, just casually pans away while laughing to highlight the other child after her first child just dumped it into the ravine. That's so is messed ruthless. up. Ruthless. How could you just let uh, your but kids makes for an incredible fall down a hill? Double TikTok. I gotta admit. I'll give you that. That one made me. That one made me belly laugh a bit. I don't know. Uh, so you got. You get an inch on your schlong. You're welcome. This is awesome, and bitch. Amazing. Just amazing. That's if you're messed. looking for some Ono Hawaiian style hot dogs, you guys have to check out Tiki's Food Truck in Las Vegas. Okay. So I found out about this spot last year, and they became an internet sensation. But for those of you who have missed it, That's here it is. Oh. Look at that sausage just sliding right into that Hawaiian sweet bread. Mm. Top it off with some mango or pineapple relish and sweet or spicy lilikoi mustard. Uh, it's it's the narration for me. Look at that sausage just sliding right into that sliding Hawaiian right into that mm. sweet. Top it Hawaiian off with some mango pussy, or pineapple. I mean bun. Now again, there's a lot of juvenile sexual innuendos you could make about a video like this, but all I can think about is how badly I want to eat that after I have sex with it. <clears throat> Okay, I don't know really what's going on here, but I would say uh, this is a man that likely wears many hats in his life. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be here all weekend. Oh, here he goes. Got the quarter pipe. Oh my God, the lawnmower. I thought he was gonna fall. Sure, yeah, okay. 
Got How it. is that funny? I love that. I love that video. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> oh my god. Is it gonna pop? Listen, I don't like to ruffle any feathers, oh, okay? God. But it is about time. I thought I thought it was gonna like pop or something. I'm that women started taking care of themselves. And thank God she is, because that is without a doubt the best possible looking face I've ever seen. In I highly doubt that it's supposed to look like that. When your lips look like uh, a mid-stage terrible blister, that's sexy. Because when you're going in there, if you're trying to, you're doing either like a makeout or you're hooking up, you run that kind of like living on the edge thing where it's like maybe these are going to blow up and there's going to be like pus and juice and plastic stuff all over my face. And that can be Ew. hot, right? That can be kinky for some people. So that's like you're heightening your experience in a, in a relationship. Gosh. When you're dating a girl with lips, this voluptuous because like even eating an ice cream or like you go out to lunch and she uh, takes a bite of a sandwich that's maybe a little bit thicker than usual and boom, that shit explodes it right into your eyeballs yeah. while you're eating a chicken calzone and that's a fun date that's like a story that you can tell your grandkids right this is what i'm talking about this is self-care i love what she's done with her face <laughs> man you know it's never good if the mime starts uh, why would you let your why is he so embarrassed? Uh, hello, 911. <laughs> I would like to report a murder on the timeline. There's just no coming back from that. You just got <sighs> completely eviscerated in front of the whole SeaWorld crowd for letting your wife carry the baby and the bag. You're just sitting there strolling along. You're like a buck 30 soaking wet. And your wife's hoisting the baby and the bag. And the mime calls you out in front of the whole ass crowd? This mime just put That's this man's hit. self confidence in a meat grinder without even using words. People on the internet can learn a thing or two about this guy. My husband always carried the bag, even my purse. Beta. Take it easy, Jessica. It's one thing to carry the baby bag to help your wife out when she's carrying the child. But if you're just out on a date and your husband's carrying your purse, there's an 80% chance he has a grinder profile you don't know about. Oh, so rude. I am not 200. I am 92. Shame on you. Take care. God bless you. <laughs> That's just wholesome, okay? Listen, I don't... This woman is an, is a treasure. Old people on social media, like really old people, is just such an anomaly that it's like an entertaining in and of itself, right? I am just imagine like when we're all in our 80s and 90s. Lord knows what the social media AI landscape's gonna look like by then, but it's gonna be less endearing. Like if I'm 93, still making TikToks, then somebody euthanize me. Just put me down. But 92 year old Agnes here probably just learned how to write an email a week ago. And she's on TikTok responding to comments with videos now. This is just impressive and fun. Speaking of impressive, I hope you're impressed with how short this outro is going to be. Make sure you hip thrust that motherfucking like button. You know I appreciate you being here. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> so that was If You Laugh, You're Evil by Leon Lush. There's some TikToks that make like absolutely no sense. They're just so bad. I don't know how people think that it's a good idea to post things like that. I don't know how that lady just let her kid fall down and not do anything, not even react. I mean, I think she was okay, but still, it's messed up. But yeah, that was just a little different video. I think I'm gonna start doing more stuff like this. Let me know if you guys have some good ones. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day or night, and I hope to see you guys next time.